So these people tried to do the right thing and it absolutely backfired. This is the lesson. Don't do good things. No, that's the wrong lesson. Do not listen to me. So this guy's number is on the back of his car. So he was like, all right, man, I'm in traffic. I'm going to text this guy, see how he's doing. He messages him and says, your driving is fantastic and I love you. <laughs> A little bit forward there, mate, but you know, you just try to be friendly. The person responds and is like, haha, thank you. And then they're like, I don't know if I'm vibing the situation wrong, but do, do you want to hang out? You want to hang out? It's like, not really. Well, don't have your god number on the back of your car if you're not trying to make friends. I message you to create a bond, not to get rejected, okay? I tell you I love you, I ask you to hang out, and all I get is a not really? This is what I get for trying to be a good person. This person did the right thing by not driving. So I was being responsible and didn't drive home after happy hour last night. Came back to pick up my car and it's in a fucking farmer's market. Drink driving is bad. Never in your life should you do it. And you're like, okay, listen, I've had a few too many. I'm just gonna leave my car here. I'm not gonna drive. That's very unsafe. Rock up the next morning. They've just set up shop around your car. It's like, try to do the right thing and not drive home under the influence. And look what I get. A farmer's market surrounding my car. You gotta kind of respect that though. Like they're just like, hmm. There's a car here. Can't see an owner anywhere, so... Oh, well, guess we'll just set up around it. Imagine trying to explain to the people there that that's your car. And they would probably applaud you for not drink driving, but still. Oh, God. It's just so funny. Like, ah, uh, yes, that's my car there. But you can get some oranges. Look, look, there's oranges for sale right there. Win-win, in my opinion. Just go to the bar again, have another happy hour, and leave your car there for the next day. It's an excuse to day drink. This guy tried to speak Spanish for his girlfriend. When the guy you are talking to doesn't know Spanish, she's messaged this dude some Spanish, and it means little kisses like just like kiss kiss hug hug kind of thing the guy responds thinking he's all slick with doritos is that even spanish i mean i know it's you know it's chips but is it a spanish word whatsoever doritos is doritos a spanish word <laughs> i love that i literally am like well is it i mean i know he shouldn't be saying it and he's trying to be cute he's trying to be really adorable to this new girl that he's talking to and just absolutely fails by saying doritos boyfriend just wanted to surprise his girlfriend so how's doordash going the instructions say please deliver to door and please tell ariana sai said sorry because she is very mad at me and wouldn't pick up my phone so you're getting food delivered to your missus and the instructions say, can you please tell her that I'm sorry? I didn't mean to like make her mad or angry. Like just tell her. You text the person who gave you these instructions and you say, I think her little brother answered the door, but I did relay the message. Thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate it. But she doesn't have a brother. Do you get it, guys? Because there was a man's who could have been a brother, but she don't have a brother, which means there's a random man's in the house, which means she cheating on her boyfriend. I just had to let you guys know that that's what this is ending up to. She's cheating on her boyfriend. I feel really bad for him. He's just like, I really appreciate it, but she don't have a brother. She just, she don't have one. Thanks, man. I imagine getting that message and being like, I just delivered the message that his girlfriend is cheating on him. Oh. I feel bad. I'm crying in the club right now. This well-intentioned sign was not thought out. Not really a humane solution in my opinion. We plan to cut all homeless people in half by 2025. The fuck did they just say? You plan to cut all the homeless people in half. I don't really think that's how you should approach it, mate. Don't really think that that's a humane solution in my opinion. That's what they said. That's what Brandon said, is it's not a humane solution to cut all the homeless people in half. But when it comes to advertisements, I know that it goes through a lot of people. I don't know how I know this, but I'm assuming that there's a lot of people who are reviewing advertisements. It's like, how many people did this go through and not one person was like, listen, this kind of seems like you want to physically cut people in half, not actually like cutting the number or percentage of homeless people in half. My divorced parents had this text exchange on Father's Day and I'm horrified. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Biggest gift of my life are our kids. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Nora. Agreed. I enjoyed the collaboration. Tongue face. Who was the one who chose to, to get the divorce? I think I can make a little bit of an assumption real quick. Like, you're just trying to say, listen, I appreciate you. You're a great dad. We have great children. And they're like, I enjoyed the collaboration. What is that tongue? Well, how do you do that? Is that the, is that the emoji? horrifying. Don't send text messages like that. I'm assuming you're above the age of 40, so it's not okay. It's not okay. This person was helpful, but then not at all. When men come into your life, oh, here we go. So this person's like trying to get this wine up the thing, and this man comes along and is like, don't worry fam, I got you. Hands it just near the top of it, and now she's stuck with both of them. It's like, there was an attempt and there was a huge goddamn fail. This parent just wanted to get their daughter a birthday cake, and this bakery mix-up happened. Happy birthday, loser. Can children even read at that age? Because she looks like she just... 
She looks like she just had her heart broken. Happy birthday, loser. Anyways, who is making a cake that says that on it? Who's legitimately doing that? Happy birthday, loser. It's like, no matter who that cake was going to, why is that cake going to somebody? Honestly, I would probably feel the same too, kid. Don't you worry. If my parents called me a loser on my birthday, I'd be pretty damn disappointed too. Backfired a belter. <laughs> so this girl right here is just like, you know what? I'm going to go up. You tap the top. That means they've got a skullet because otherwise it will go everywhere. So people are like, oh, sh oh, sh I've got a skullet. He just goes, nah, bitch. I got you. Look. Yeah, that backfired. Holy shit. This applicant was just trying to be creative and stand out. It says Cadbury on it, which I straight up was just like, oh, I love Cadbury chocolate. Dear Mr. Jones. And it goes on to say that he has been unsuccessful with his job application. And then it says, we don't normally respond to unsuccessful applicants, but in your case, we've made an exception in order to return the five pound note you attach to the reference section of your application under the line, Elizabeth, wink, wink. They're returning the five pound to be like, listen, you tried to bribe us. You did say wink, wink. We would like to return your note. Some notes regarding your application listing super secret spy work I legally can't talk about as your previous experience won't fool anyone. Guys, I respect this. In future, you might want to refrain from using sentences like, come on, let me be a part of this awesome gig you've got going on. You gotta respect the grind, guys. eBay feedback isn't a relevant reference. It's not? What do you mean? Well, I was hoping once this whole YouTube thing was done, I, I could, could use my eBay feedback. That's not a relevant reference? Are you kidding me? Your attached sketch of an everlasting chocolate bar was unwarranted, absurd, and quite frankly, it scared us a little bit. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. <laughs> Come on. Secret spy work he legally can't talk about? Uh, that means he's a pretty big deal. You know, come on, let me be a part of this awesome gig. I feel like that's a respectful way to approach a job. No? And apparently eBay feedback isn't a reference. I feel like my whole life's been a lie up to this point now. Like, what do you mean? And what did this everlasting chocolate bar look like? That's the question I'm wondering. What did it look like? My dad bought my mom asparagus for Valentine's Day thinking that they were daffodils. <laughs> I am done. Who told you the asparagus was god daffodils? It's like, I really care about my wife. I'm gonna get her something real, real nice. Just end up coming home with a bouquet of asparagus. That's romantic. That's sweet. <laughs> this attempt to not drink and drive. What are they on? Are they on eskies? And are they getting in trouble by the police? Hey, they're trying to use their plan B and that is riding down the street on eskies rather than driving cars under the influence of alcohol. You gotta respect it. You gotta appreciate it. You gotta not get mad at it. Like honestly, they're just trying to be safe, you know? Even though, you know, riding on eskies in the middle of the road is probably more unsafe than driving. But it's not the point. They're not on cars. Actually, what is the limit of drink driving? It's got four wheels. So does that technically count as a car? Like honestly. Bit of a gray area. Well, I feel like we've all learned some lessons and that's don't do good things. Once again, I'm joking. Do good things. Things may backfire, but you still got to be a good person. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and, uh, you know, we're always, uh, she's like, literally not even joking. Make sure you yeet. <laughs>